everyone. Welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. I'm so excited for you guys joining us for Friday Mommy Moments. And know this, you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. So make yourself comfortable. The first thing that we do when it comes to Fridays is do our Friday shout outs. Oh, I said it kind of dull. Friday shout outs. Let's get to it. Whew. The first shout out that I'm doing today is to a good friend, Ivan Dones. I hope I say, is it Ivan Dones or Ivan Dones? I know he'll probably correct me, but it could be Dones or Dones. Or I could just be wrong. Me and Ivan have been friends on social media for so long long he is in the army am i saluting when i get out of hand i start doing things all wrong but just know me and my family we super super acknowledge all the support that you give to this channel you're always sharing us out you're always making sure that you're supporting us you come to the lives when you can and you're in the army plus you have a family and you go out of your way to let us know that you support the Soren Seward family that is so genuine and I appreciate it so much I pray that you guys have an awesome holiday the second shout out is going to the Walker fam I am picking you for today's shout out because I love how you keep me encouraged about my socks a lot of people don't understand my socks but you get a kick out of it so I'm like you know what let me show them some love today the Walker fam if you don't know them go ahead and check them out. They're super awesome and I adore watching their content. Thank you so much for being a part of the Soren C Word family. Hashtag TSSF. Hey. Alright you guys, let's get right into this topic. You already know what I'm going to say. Grab your coffee because I got mine or your beverage or snacks, whatever it is that you need to come and kick it with me. I am so ready to get this off my chest. Let's go. For the people who are out there who feel like it's too late, you can't start over, your life is what it is and it's no turning back. I wanna let you know that that's not true for you. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what you're going through. Don't ever feel like your time is up. It's too late for you. As my kids get older and they start adventuring new things in school, I have this fear about when they end up going to high school because I won't be able to tell them what high school is like. My husband will be able to because he finished college, he finished high school. He's done a lot of great things. But me, on the other hand, I chose a different path. And a lot of people could be like, well, you had parents, people should have been guiding you. We all make choices that affect us later on. And yes, I can agree to an extent, but at the end of the day, I made some very bad choices and I had to pay for them later and had to correct them down the line. But I'll never know what it feels like to complete the ninth grade, the 10th grade, the 11th grade, and the 12th grade. A lot of people think that I didn't go to prom because I looked like a boy and I carried myself like a boy. That may be true, but I'm a high school dropout. I didn't finish high school. Um, I made a lot of bad choices in life. And the older I got, I felt dumb. I felt stupid. I felt like I couldn't go back and finish. There's no way I'm gonna be able to pass these tests. I don't even know what this is like. But you guys, it wasn't too late for me. Yeah, some people made fun of me. Yeah, some people who knew me called me stupid. A lot of people was like, oh wow, you 20? You don't have an education? Filling out job applications was horrible. It was horrible. People didn't want me to work for them. Or I just knew that I wouldn't get those jobs. But I changed that. I worked hard and I was able to get my GED at the age of 22. Most people finish school earlier than that or people are finishing college at 22 or are setting their job, but that wasn't my path, that wasn't for me. I really wanna come and encourage you and let you know that if school is something that you desire to finish, I pray that you go back. If you messed up by opening a business and things didn't work out and you really wanna try it again, I encourage you to try it again. I don't want you to have any regret when your life is done. Keep trying. Don't ever give up as long as you have breath in your body. It's not too late for you. You can go back to school. You can take classes and stuff online. Like that job that you want to get, you can keep applying yourself until you get it. There's so many times in our life that we feel like it's too late for us or it's never going to happen for us. That's not true. Keep 
trying. And for you YouTubers, some people might, their channel might blow up faster than yours, you know? And you're like, oh man, they got what it takes, so I'ma just quit. Don't quit, don't stop, keep going. There's people who's had channels, like you go back and you look and see how long they've had their channels that worked hard to get their channels to where they're at. I wanna let you guys know that it's not too late for you. There is no time limit. Keep doing what you feel God has for you to do and watch he show up every single time. Your timing may not be somebody else's time. Keep going and do it for you. If nobody else, do it for yourself. So I wanted to come and encourage you during these holidays to keep going, it's not too late. And your story may be different from others and your path may be harder than others, but you're gonna finish your race. Watch, you're gonna finish your race. Matter of fact, right now, what's something that you wanna do? but it's something that's holding you back. Drop it down below and let me know what is something that you wanna do and something's holding you back or you feel like it's just too late, you can't do it. Let me know. Well you guys, that's all that I have for you today. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seward Family Channel, you are always needed. We love you guys. Peace out. See you next Friday.